What's going on guys? Back at the beach again. I'm gonna do another pump mill video for y'all. The wind's super low, about five miles an hour from the northwest, which means surf's calm. We're gonna try and see if we can catch the pump mill. Let's get to it. All right, Ruben said the 30 got bumped a little bit. Looks like there's something on. There you go. Oh, where's the big pump? Oh, that's a nice pumping though, man. I miss hey, you. We'll, we'll take them like Woo. that any day of the week, man. Heck yeah, hey. bro. A nice pumping them, man. You already know. 12 boot. Size knows. 12 boot. Hey. Up. You already know, guys. Put a little Sims. Oh, that's a Number one in the water, dude. Look at that. You know it's a good pump when it's hard to get your hands around it. Oh, that's true. Hey, you already know, guys, the reel we're using today, Daiwa Sea Line X30. Sha. Let's go catch some more, man. That's what I'm saying, Heck man. Heck yeah. Catch a couple more. That's what I'm talking about. Another nice pumping though, guys. Look at that. We barely started fishing. We're already catching fish. That's a size 12. Look at that, guys. You see the time? Right there, 757. Ruben's hooked up. And we might have a fish. Another nice pumping though, dude. I think you got me beat. Yeah, that one's better. Look at that, guys. Three pumping on, what, five minutes or so? Yeah. Look at that. I get some shrimps. That's what I'm talking about, guys. Woo! Heck yeah. Man. Just walking out a little bit. The other time we are out here, I was walking out to the second bar. But, uh, the water's a little deeper today, so. Cast right here. There we go, perfect cast. Woo! Okay. Ooh, that's, a that's a nice one. Probably like the same size as the other one, maybe. Hopefully. Let's go. You guys, right now it's barely 8.05. 8.05, guys. So we've been catching fish for about 10 minutes. That's how it is sometimes. You never know until you come out here and try it out. Oh, come on right there. It's a good one, man. Bro, bro, look at that. Oh, oh, ho, ho. take a picture of that. Come on. Yeah, it's on. There we go. Come on. Feels decent, feels decent. Oh, a decent one, man. Little piece of shrimp. Little, little piece of shrimp. Ruben over here. Oh, that's up though. There we go. Another good pumping up, man. Oh, oh. Mine getting bumped? Yeah, mine's getting bumped right here. Go. That's the upside of having them right next to each other, guys. You can be looking at them, all of them, at the same time. You know what I caught, bro? 
one of the leaders from last time or what? Yeah. You sure didn't catch this line right here? No, look. That was the one that we got cut off on. Bro. Wait, guys, look at this. Okay, okay, check this out, guys. So this is the line right here. This is the 50. Here's the line. Here's the leader right here, as you can see. There's a swivel of the line. There's a fish bite. There's this fish bite. So obviously, and there's the weight. So the weight got hooked up on this green line. No, I got hooked with this, and then and then brought, and brought then this this leader. And hey, come over here. So he rescued the leader. We got cut off. Uh, well, you saw whenever we got that uh, pumping no head right here. This is what happened. Here's a swivel. Here's the first drop. So got cut off right drop. there. Yeah. That's where it goes. There you go, <laughs> man. Sheesh. Hey, dude, we got the swivel and weight back. Heck yeah. The weight, the weight's the most expensive part. Yeah, and the fish bite. And the uh, we got no rods in the water now. We gotta get out there. All right, stay tuned, guys. So far, what what we got? How many keepers we got? Uh, six, about six, six or so. Those are another pumping them. Pumpin them. Thought it was gonna be a little bit bigger than that, though. All right, the fifty got bumped. There you go, man. We're thinking the fish are further out there now, now that the tide's receding. Or going out. Ooh, that. Really? Sprayed? Sprayed. Yeah, that's a nice one. Literally just cast it and walk back getting the hit. I guess that's a good thing, right? I'm gonna pump it up. Hey, hey, got him with both. Oh, well, had him with both rigs. He was tail tied, too. <laughs> yeah. Guys, uh, we're rolling the rods. Uh, check the bait. And hey, look at that. He had a nice. Pumping on, you know, good size, you know. Uh, we hadn't seen any bumps. Oh, well, there you go. I guess they were just chilling. No, I saw this one getting the hit oh. while I was reeling the other one. I was worried I was on the line. Well, anyways, we're reeling in because we hadn't seen any bumps, and well, we're probably gonna go out to the second bar now that the water dropped a little bit more and uh, cast out, and maybe they're further out there. Imagine if we're doing this with a squitter. That must suck. Even that one, dude, it's a little, eh. Uh, to me, the 50. Well, this one gets 36 inches uh, a crank. To me, the 50's better, dude, man. the 50 gets 46. It's another, t another 10, 10 inches. inches. Got you hyper. Space, yeah. I think, I, to me, it just feels like the 50 has more torque, man. You know what I mean? It does. Bigger gears. Longer handle. Oh man, we did the MXLG2, dude. Or spend an extra hundred bucks, hundred plus bucks, and get a Raptor, dude. Dude, what do you get with a Raptor, dude? A little bit more drag, get as much drag as the HXW, and you get two speed. You don't necessarily need a two speed, but I mean, I'd be good. Like, oh man, got a bunch of seaweed. That's a nice one, guys. Look at that. That's a good one right there. That's a solid one. All right, this one got hit because it's definitely all slacked up. Good, Papa. Heck yeah. That's what we're after, boys. I mean, not the seed, but the pump right here. For oh, sure. Look at that. Unhook them. Got that double drop can two customs. Mm. 
beautiful Florida Pompano. Scientific name, Trichinotis carolinus. Member of the, the Karangadai family, aka the Jack family. Imagine if these got 20 pounds like Jack's. Woo! Alright guys, well waiting out to that second bar paid off almost instantly got a good sized pump. Guess we're gonna have to go way back out there again and recast. This one's getting bumped, dude. Let's see. Let me lock it down. That's about to jack him up. Oh, he there. He there. Hopefully it's a big one. It's a good one, dude. That's a good one. Not over here, the pumping on snake. Alright, that means the 50 should go off, dude, right? Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Nice one, man. That's how you catch them, man. Can't two customs double draw fish by the little shrimp. Get it done. It's not a bad one, man. I give them the, the grab test. See how, how <laughs> thick they are. Another good one, fish taco. Man, we eating good. Whew. On the pescatarian diet. Not a bad one, man. Can't even take a break, man. Damn. I know, man. What time is it now? It's 10.46. 10.46. I might throw this one back and put, put your hands on him. Eh? He's Come thick, huh? Right. Alright, you're gonna clean fish, might as well clean a bunch of fish, right? <laughs> What's going on guys? Got a special video. Gonna do a how-to catch the most tastiest fish out here in the surf. That's right, you already know what it is, the Florida Pompano. Now in order to catch your quarry, you got to understand your quarry. So the Florida Pompano belongs to the family Karangadai, the Jack family. Well, they fight hard for their size. So, what do they eat? Well, they primarily eat shellfish and mollusk. So, that's what you're going to have to use for bait. Shrimp, crabs, coquina sh clams, sea um not sea lice sand fleas shellfish oh damn it we're getting a bite right now <laughs> it, it's oh, slacked man. up can't even make a video man dang notice how we got these uh other two rods that uh out of the water because uh we tried to make some takes but uh well we kept catching fish and of course pompano and habit the surf zone on the beach. That's a good one right there, boys. Look at that pumping though, guys. This ain't no uh, Hollywood magic, man. Filmed in real time. <laughs> Look at that. Beautiful. Hey, I'm gonna even tell you all the time right now. Right now it's uh, 10.53. That's a good one. Now, as you can tell, since I got one here, man, that's a nice one. Also, remember, know your quarry, as I said. They got small mouths. Look at that. That's a, I mean, it's a pretty, it's a big one, but they got relatively small mouths. So, the bait size you're going to use, small baits. The hook size you're going to use, you're going to use smaller hooks. Good pop. Uh, twisted, too, man. Well, little spudniks or spiders, it won't happen. 
Man, but the Sputniks are expensive, man. The heck yeah. But the Sputniks cast better, though. There we go. Oh, yeah. Heck yeah. All right, guys, that's going to be it. We had a great day, if you uh, can't tell by this ice chest. Ended off the day keeping 18 pumping all. Threw a couple back, started being more selective. But, man, that was an awesome day. So, if y'all liked the video, give it a like. You got a comment, question, go ahead, drop down in the comment section. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification so you get notified when more videos like this come out. And as always, y'all have a great day.